Hi guys, I will show you how to crochet the mini tulip pot in this video. If you like our projects, subscribe to us. You can also take a look at our crochet shop if you are interested. These are the materials we need. Part 1. Mini Pot. We will use the 3mm hook to crochet the pot and soil. To crochet the pot, we'll start with a magic loop. Then, single crochet 8 times in the magic loop. Pull the loop up and take out the hook. Find the yarn tail and pull the loop tight. Put the hook back. We'll crochet in joined rounds for the pot and soil. To crochet in joined rounds, you need to slip stitch in the first stitch at the end of every round. And chain however many the pattern tells you to begin the next round and the chain doesn't count as a stitch. Work into the first stitch again and make a single crochet here. Then, work back into the same stitch to make another single crochet to turn it into an increase stitch. Make 8 increase in total as round 2. At the end of the round, there should be 16 stitches. Like before, slip stitch in the first stitch, and chain 1 to start next round. For round 3, make a single crochet in the first stitch. Make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat making a single crochet followed by an increase 8 times in total. There will be 24 stitches at the end of this round. Slip stitch in the first stitch at the end. Chain 1 to start next round. For round 4, make a single crochet in the first stitch. Make another single crochet in the second stitch. Make an increase in the third stitch. Repeat making two single crochets followed by an increase eight times. There will be 30 to stitches at the end of this round. Slip stitch in the first stitch at the end. After you finish round 4, chain 1 to start round 5. Then, turn the piece around. We'll work into the back loops only for this round. This is the back loop which is far from you. Single crochet in every stitch. At the end of this round, we will have 32 stitches. Make a slip stitch to end this round. Chain 1. 
Turn your work around. We will work into the front loop we left on round 4. Work into the first stitch. Make a slip stitch first. Then, chain 1. Work into the first stitch again and make a single crochet. Make another two single crochets. Then, make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat the sequence of three single crochets and one increase eight times in total for this round. We finished the base of the pot. For rounds 7 to 12, you just need to single crochet in every stitch. Finish this part by yourself. For round 13, we'll decrease the stitch. Single crochet three times first. Then, make a single decrease in next to stitches. Repeat the sequence of three single crochets and one decrease eight times in total for this round. At the end of this round, we will have 32 stitches. For round 14, we just need to single crochet in every stitch. For round 15, we don't need to start with a chain. We'll skip the first stitch and work into the second stitch directly. And we need to double crochet five times in this stitch. After we finish, skip the next stitch and work into the stitch next to it and slip stitch here. Then repeat the sequence. Skip one stitch and double crochet five times in the next stitch. After that, skip one stitch again. Work in the next stitch and slip stitch here. Repeat the sequence eight times in total for this round. Fasten off in the end. And we can hide the yarn tail in the pot with a needle. This is how the finished pot looks like. Part 2. Soil. For the soil, single crochet 8 times in a magic loop as round 1. When you are tightening the loop, leave a small hole in it. We'll insert the flower here. For the rest part, Follow the pattern and finish it by yourself. The first four rounds are the same as the mini pot pattern. Fasten off after you finish. And weave in ends. Part 3. 
Part 3. Tulip Bud. We use the 2 mm hook to crochet the tulip bud and leaf. Take out the yarn color you like. To crochet the bud, we'll start with a magic loop. Then, single crochet six times in the magic loop. Find the yarn tail and pull the loop tight. We'll crochet in continuous rounds for the tulip bud. Work into the first stitch and make a single crochet here. Mark the first stitch of round 2. Then, work back into the same stitch to make another single crochet to turn it into an increased stitch. Make 6 increase in total as round 2. At the end of the round, there should be 12 stitches. For round 3, make a single crochet in the first stitch. Always move the marker to the first stitch of the new round. Make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat making a single crochet followed by an increase 6 times in total. There will be 18 stitches at the end of this round. For round 4, make a single crochet in the first stitch. Move the marker. Make another single crochet in the second stitch. Make an increase in the third stitch. Repeat making two single crochets followed by an increase six times in total. There will be 24 stitches at the end of this round. For round five, you just need to add a single crochet in the sequence. And there will be 30 stitches at the end of this round. For rounds six to 13, just single crochet in every stitch for every round. After you finish, fasten off. Leave about 15 to 20 centimeters of yarn and cut it off. Thread it up with a needle. Stuff the tulip bud with some cotton. Then we'll sew a cross stitch in the last round. Hide the yarn in the bud at the end. We finished the tulip bud. Part 4. Leaf. Take out the green yarn. Wrap yarn around your hand. Make a slip knot. Next, chain 16.
Then, work into the second chain from the hook. Make a single crochet. Next, make a half double crochet. Make two double crochets. After that, make seven triple crochet stitches. Make two double crochets. Make a half double crochet. Single crochet three times in the next same stitch. Then, we'll work back into the other side of the chains. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Crochet with the yarn tail so that we can hide it in stitches. For the rest of round 1, follow the pattern and finish it yourself. Before we start round 2, we need to prepare a piece of 20 cm wire. We'll crochet with wire for round 2. First, slip stitch in the first stitch. Then chain 1 to start the next round. Insert hook into the first stitch again. Put the wire on the hook and under the working yarn. You can bend the wire in a way that you can hold it well. Yarn over and pull through. And the wire is caught by yarn. Make a single crochet. Then make 15 single crochet stitches in total. After you finish, adjust the wire and make it the same length on both sides. Single crochet in the top stitch. Then chain 2. Work into the second chain from the hook and make a slip stitch. Work back into the same stitch again. Make another single crochet here. Then, make another 15 single crochets in the following stitches. Slip stitch in the first stitch as an end. Fasten off. Leave some yarn tail. Wrap yarn around the wire. You can make a knot or wrap yarn around the wire like how I did in the video. We finished the leaf.
Part 5. Assembling. Those are the materials we'll use for assembling. First, get some cotton to stuff the pot. Cut a piece of 30 to 40 centimeter cocky yarn. Thread it up with a needle. For the first stitch, put the needle through the pot from inside to outside. We'll sew through the stitches between round 14 and 15. Leave some yarn in the pot. Sew the pot and soil together. Hide the yarn tail in the pot at the end. Next, we'll assemble the tulip flower. We need to prepare 8 to 10 centimeter branch. Insert it through the center of the tulip bud. Then apply some glue on the branch. So we can stick the tulip bud to the branch. Take out the green yarn. Wrap yarn around the branch for 2 to 3 centimeters. Tie the leaf to the branch. Wrap yarn around the whole branch. Apply some glue on the end of the branch. Wrap yarn on it. Cut off the extra yarn. Look what we achieved! 